Let's graph the function y equals x power minus log x. So three steps for graphing. Step one is to find the domain of the function. So let's actually write this out explicitly. So there's an important formula that a power b, how do you define a power b if a and b are integers, like pi power pi? Well, we just define it as e power b log a. Okay, you can check that if a and b are integers, it matches with the usual definition of multiplying a with itself b times. Now in this case, we're going to get y is equal to x power minus log x, which is going to be e power minus log of x squared. Okay, that's what we're going to get. Now how do we actually graph this? We know the domain is all positive numbers. Log x is only defined if x is positive. And then in terms of actually sketching the graph, we're going to have to differentiate. So y prime is going to equal to e power minus log x squared, we use the chain rule. It's going to be e power minus log x squared. So we're going to differentiate the outside, e power anything, the derivative is e power that thing, times the derivative of minus log of x squared, which is actually going to be equal to minus two times the log of x divided by x. Okay, again, that's a chain rule. Log x squared is two times log x, and derivative of log x is one over x. So we're going to get that. And so this part is always positive. It's an exponential of something. But then for this part, minus 2 log x over x, well, it's going to be positive as long as x is greater than 1. At x equals to 1, it's going to be 0 because that's when log is going to equal to 0. But you have a minus sign, so it's going to be negative for x greater than 1 and positive for x less than 1. So it's going to actually increase up till 1, so we can actually sketch the graph, a mini graph here. It's going to increase all the way until 1, and then it's going to decrease after that. But where is it going to decrease? As x approaches infinity, log x approaches infinity. So this is going to e power minus infinity, which is 0. So it's going to approach 0. And I've done that very informally. And as x approaches 0, we're going to get log x is going to approach negative infinity. Log x squared is approaching infinity. So again, e power minus infinity is going to be approaching 0. So you're going to get something like this. And this is going to be our graph. So I'm going to put a hole here. That's going to be our graph. And do you want to know how to find the area under that graph, that shaded area? Click down below. I've actually calculated the, indef the definite integral from 0 to infinity of this function, which is actually very hard to calculate. You can't actually find the antiderivative. But you can calculate this area, and I've done it below in my video. Click down below. Have an amazing day. Check out my channel for lots more fun calculus content.